Elevate is a unique vehicle. I like to call it the ultimate mobility vehicle because it can go into many different places that a typical four-wheeled vehicle cannot or would be very difficult for it to go into. Elevate is a car that can walk. And the question, uh, why would you need a car that can walk, can be answered by the idea that when a vehicle currently reaches its limitation, it's because the suspension and the wheels have met their match and they can no longer traverse an obstacle. When we were looking at this combination of robotics on a car, we did what I might call prior art research or market research. One interesting thing that we found uh, in that research was the idea that even the most capable of four-wheeled off-road vehicles that are designed for such purposes can get stuck. We thought if a vehicle could actually come to the person and stand up or crawl position itself at their front door, then they could just wheel right out their front door, get into the vehicle, they could walk back down to their driveway or the street, and then continue on. Things like natural disasters, things in which there are sometimes purposeful uh, barriers put in place to prevent vehicle traffic. So we saw these little instances, use cases, that we thought, yeah, having legs could be very useful and, and provide a, a form of mobility that is not available today. So in the beginning of the conversations, we, we decided that we really needed to take a step back from racing into the design and the exciting part of the engineering and just look at this from a use case perspective. Is there a value for this? Because if there's no value to the end consumer, if there's no value to humanity, it would just be a lot of uh, wasted engineering and design effort. What technologies can we use or techniques can we use to make lightweight seating that is, well, not only lightweight, but also very durable and suitable for, for the mission? When I first heard about gender design, my initial thought was, oh, okay, I guess the engineer is no longer needed because the computer is going to go through many, many design iterations faster than any one person and do it in a way that's not intuitive because the geometry is, uh, is you know, I would call it non-linear. As a car designer, the part that excites me about generative design is the change in my kind of mental focus from subtractive methods to this growing mentality. I'm growing CAD data, and I know that in the end, it might still be a mixture of additive and subtractive manufacturing methods, but it's a different way of, of seeing a sculpture created in CAD. What I'm excited about is the idea that we can work on new vehicle platforms that one day could be in the area of public service, you know, or, or the area of either public safety or in uh, search and rescue, because I think there's a lot of times when different situations, natural disasters, where, where, where people need help. And I think, whereas, yes, there are vehicles and ways of getting to people, but I, I, I really believe that the product version of Elevate one day can be used to be of service of, of people that are really need help. And I believe that when you know that somebody's going to come help you if you're in trouble, that knowledge gives you hope. So I'm looking forward to the day that we can turn Elevate from, the, from sort of the concept of today to the experimental prototype of the future to the product that can be out there in the field helping people. <laughs>